today in the pedal vault or in the amp vault, in the preamp vault, the driftwood amplifiers Purple Nightmare. So let's start with a little disclaimer here. This unit was given to me for reviewing purposes and I will send it back after the review. The Purple Nightmare by Driftwood Amplifiers is a tube preamp in this nice pedal style form factor and it's basically one of the channels of the actual Purple Nightmare amp. And it is packed with a ton of features. First of all, we have this awesome red blood splatter artwork and I think this pedal is actually one of a kind, so that's really cool. Then we do have a lot of knobs, a lot of switches, a lot of jacks. Let's actually start with a nice part. Here we have purple illuminated logo where you can see the tubes, really cool. Then we have the actual amp setting with a master, 320Q, gain. Here we can select high or low setting. You can't really see it here because of the blood. And we have the rumble and sharp, basically depth and presence. And here we have a couple of different selections for, this. it's called sizzle, so I suppose it's for the high frequencies. And we can activate this channel via the bypass switch. Then we have another switch that lets us actually activate a tube streamer circuit where those three knobs are dedicated to volume, tone, gain. And we have here this switch that lets us actually select if we want the tube screamer to be activated separate. So now I can activate it whenever I want. Or it's connected to the amp switch. So now I can't activate it, but when I activate the amp, I can select it. And now it basically knows when I bypass the amp, it also bypasses the tube screamer. I think that's a really nice feature. So what do we have as well? We have here a jack for an external switch. So if you don't want to have this on your pedal board, you can do it otherwise. And we have lots of different jacks. And all those jacks, you could either connect it how I do it, input, output, or you can basically use the four cable method with a regular amp and basically expand your amp to, with the Purple Nightmare channel. So when, it, when you bypass it, it reconnects to your amp's preamp and when you activate it, it basically overrides the um, or disables the amp's preamp. I think that's also a really, really nice feature. And we do have a two watt power amp here so we can connect the Purple Nightmare directly to a cap for practicing or, well, basically rehearsing when your drama <laughs> is not there. So lots of different features. And now let's have a look at the EQ curve. First of all, let's have a look at the Tube Screamer circuit. So we can see it cuts high frequencies and with the tone nothing too spectacular regular tube screamer circuit so now the amp everything on noon master around nine o'clock let's start with rumble at some nice 100 hertz. Sharp, really sharp. Bass. Very, very subtle. Ampish, that's okay.
very very subtle EQ changes, but that's totally normal for a preamp. So now gain. Add some low frequencies. So we add here basically. So we have a so high. Oh, it's currently on high. So low as more low as more high frequencies. Now the sizzle, can we actually see in this position? Yes. Okay, basically three different options for the very high frequencies. Let's leave it here. Okay, now let's find out how this preamp actually sounds. For the playthrough, you will hear three different sounds. First of all is my regular clean channel. Then is my regular FX return channel. And last not least, I've just enabled a cap IR and chose the Grindstein Bloodpath IR. So the Purple Nightmare is playing directly into a cap without anything else.
So that's it. What do you think about the Purple Nightmare? I'm really impressed. First of all, I thought, well, I asked myself whether I should or should not include a playthrough through a clean amp, but I'm glad I did because the Purple Nightmare held really good. It was some really nice sounds. The sounds were equally awesome in front of the FX return or into uh, the cab directly. However, uh, and I think that's due to the cab I chose, uh, into the cab it sounded rather harsh, but I think the Bloodpath IR is a rather harsh sounding IR. So, what do I like? Everything? It's, I did not expect this preamp to be this good. We have some really tasteful tones. You can really crank the knobs if you want. A uh, highlight for me is this sizzle control that lets you add some gnarly high gain fizz, but very musical high gain fizz. And a rumble and sharp lets you shape the tone even more. I think it's more on the bright side, but that's not a bad thing. That's not a good thing. That's just my observation. So it works wonderfully well with some darker IRs and you might run into some trouble or you can't unlock the full potential when you're using two bright IRs or two bright cabinets. What I really think is awesome is the two watt out so you can directly use this for rehearsing. I haven't tried it yet. And another thing I haven't tried but I'm very certain a follow-up video is coming, is this um, a fixed return here where we can basically use the four cable method to add another channel to your existing tube amp or solid state or whatever. I think that's an awesome feature I actually haven't seen on lots of preamps. The integrated tube screamer circuit is genius because, uh, and you have the option if you want to use the tube screamer separately or you do you want to use it in combination with the channel so with one press of a button you can activate the channel and the tube screamer that's really cool so really flexible and versatile and the tube screamer circuit does what a tube screamer circuit does it's i don't think it's this special or there's anything modded it's just a tube screamer it's Gives you more gain and it uh, kind of tightens up your low end. So yeah, the sound quality of Driftwood is fantastic. I really like what I hear. I like this, yeah, this, how do you say it? The, the general tone it provides. You know, every amp manufacturer has a dedicated tone uh, that you either like or you don't like. And for me, Driftwood is a tone or, a, or has a tone that I instantly liked. And I do not have to tweak much to get a good result. And with other amp manufacturers or pedals or whatever, I really have to do some tweaking. And that's not the case here. So, you know what I think. Now you know what I think. But what do you think? Write a comment down below in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, you might want to consider checking out the links in the description or you want to become a YouTube member. Well, with this being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the power protect you and have a nice day.